Welcome back guys. It's been a while since I released a video. Been real busy working. Um, so just haven't had time to open anything up on camera. Um, today I went out, went to Target. Um, I seen somebody post online that they restocked two days ago. Today is Thursday, November 4th. So they stocked two days ago. Um, and you know, just being optimistic, I went there just to take a look. And up front, if you know Target, they stock up front and in the back in the toy section. Up front, they had some the Charizard community chests or um, the lunch boxes, and then they had a couple of a uh, Empoleon and Tyranitar V tins. Um, I didn't, I wasn't interested in any of that. Uh, what I'm really after looking for is celebrations. I got my hands on a few, um, but I think this one is especially special because I went there, you know, not hoping to see anything, but I went to the back. I seen a lady, Target lady, um, she was stocking the shelves. And then I went to the Pokemon section and I found this ETV. It's it's ripped, it's tore. But she mentions to me that she was stocking the shelves in a different aisle and she found this one and she just brought it back put it on the shelf and then i walked by and i picked it up and so uh i think it was destined hopefully there's a charizard in here um but i'll settle for a blastoise venusaur any of the top three um other than that i've been wanting uh to open this on camera i've opened up maybe 50 or 60 packs with my kids off camera so without further ado, I'm just gonna cut this bad boy up. And again, it's it was already ripped. That's why. So you know, somebody probably bought it. Decided not to keep it because it was ripped. I don't know, but she said she found it in a different um, aisle. I believe it was the either the Lego section or some some other section. So here's the ETV. It doesn't look resealed, so that's why I decided to go through with the purchase. We have this shiny Greninja. Let's check if there's a swirl. Nope, no swirl. Still a pretty badass card. Um, code card for anybody that wants it out there. Here are the packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten celebrations. Two darkness ablaze. Vivid voltage. Battle styles. Chilling rain. So we'll go with my least favorite. We'll open these up first. These normal cards. See if we can pull any hits from that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Code card. Set these to the side. We'll, op we'll open up the celebrations last. DD, Crawdont, Corona's, Karina's Focus, a Sparrow, a Zubat, Cubone, Frillish, Flipbug, a Pawnard, and a Phalanx, non-hollow. So, of course, like many battle styles, it's a bus. Haven't had a lot of luck with battle styles, given I haven't opened up a lot, because there's not really a card in there that I want. Chilling Rain. Also haven't opened up a lot of Chilling Rain. Again, no chaser cards that, I, that I'm interested in in that set. Grookey, Mary, Robo, and a Ice Rider Calyrag. So we got our first hit right there. All right, let's leave this bad boy up. Put it right there. Vivid Voltage. All right, Chunk of Chew. Everybody wants that Chunk of Chew. Cards. We got Steel Energy, Core Work, Aromatic, Galvanche, Galvin, Galvin Tula, 
Galvantula, Fanfi, Yanma, Meow, Dusko, Voltorb, Oshawa, and a Jotia non holograph. Darkness Ablaze. Let's see if we can hit that Zard. I am also still looking for a Stunkiss V full art for this set. It's annoying. Can't get that full art stun Stunkiss V. Super annoying. Lyron, old PC, Vanillite, Trap Inch, and I think a scissor. Scissor, uh, rainbow scissor. Teddy Ursa and a Baritic. So I did happen to see, I went to Walmart too, and I did happen to see Sword and Shield uh, ETB's reprints. Um, I didn't grab any, just in the fact that I have a few. And that's just for the personal collection. I'm not, I don't plan on opening one. Maybe in the future I'll open one. And a Corviknight V. Or Corviknight, Corviknight Holographic. So we're going to Excel Gore. All right. Now to what we've been waiting for. Celebrations on camera. Again, I've opened a few of these. Um, I've actually hit the big three already. A lot of it is my kids. My kids pulled it. They hit it. Not me. I, I just buy for them to rip. Right now they're at school. So celebrations. We have a Dialga, Cosmoem, Dark Gyarados, and a Sogaleo. So Dark Gyarados. And then I'm kind of disappointed that I wasn't able to snag up a ultra premium um, box. Super rare to get. They're reselling for like three, three hundred fifty to four hundred dollars, which is outrageous. Um, I don't know though. You know, it's. I guess it's what people want to do. Oh, something shiny. I think that's a Pikachu. Cosmog, Sekram. Ho O and a flying Pikachu. I was right. I seen that blue background. So it was either surfing or flying. Well, that's not bad. So what do you guys do with all your hits? No, all your all of these cards too. So I sleeved up about three copies of each. Um I'm almost to a complete master set. I am uh I think the Mewtwo EX is the last one I need to pull. And if I do pull it here on camera, that would be freaking amazing. Um, I don't, I don't want to resort to buying, but if it comes to it, I might throw the $10 that way. Kyogre and a Lunala. So this is just a regular pack. But yeah, what do you guys do with your holographic cards? 25th Celebration cards um again i have about three of each sleeved up in a stored into an etb mm. but other than that i have like hundreds of copies more i'm almost tempted to make another uh set but at the same time pulling the pikachu i got i have so many of these too i don't know why they print so many of these but I have like two binder pages full of these. Mm, but yeah, I, I'm almost tempted to make another set. Uh, but the Zard is crazy hard to pull, I think. Um, I've got plenty of Blastoise and Venusaurs backed up. It's just that Zard. I have one Zard that my daughter pulled. From a Pikachu Bean Union box. Ooh, a Garchomp. And a Zacian. So a double hit. It wasn't. I need a Mewtwo EX. And that will complete my first set. And again, um, if you guys got any comments or any hints on what to do with these cards, 
turn into bulk. I think that's probably the best route to go. I know some of them are selling for like 80 cents, 70 cents, stuff like that, but I think there's just so many prints out there that right now it's not worth it. Um, but it might be worth it to hang on to it too. Turn this in a meal. It's a regular pack. Yeah, if anybody got their hands on a UPC, um, let me know how you guys did it. You know, did you guys stock out Target? Um, I know when on opening or when re on release day for Target, I was there at 7.55. I was maybe six in line and they had two UPCs. And the first guy was gracious enough to give it, give one to the second guy. Um, but other than that, that was it. They had two UPCs at my Target. Uh, Walmart didn't have any. Uh, my local card shop store was selling them for $330. So they were scalping prices at my local card shop. Um, which sucks. But it is what it is, you know. People gotta eat. Oh, Pikachu's birthday. And a surfing Pikachu. Yeah, people's got to eat too. So my local card shop was reselling them for on opening day for $330. Um, and I went there a week after that and he still had it. And he said he's going to sell it online uh, because nobody's buying it. And I told him because the price is so high, that's probably why. And he said, well market value um ebay and tcg player and all that sorts of stuff that's what he's basing it off from and i don't know i guess you know it's their shop they do what they want to do well yeah and then see another freaking pikachu i think it's in every pack all right last pack magic this is the last pack if you guys haven't yet and you guys stuck around this long, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Encourage me to do more videos like this. Um, I think I got a, P a flying Pikachu now. Let's see the back end. Reshiram, Rockets Admin, and a Surfing Pikachu. So again, hit that like button. Smash the subscribe button. Um, it's just been crazy it's been working and so finally had the day off or i'm going to take the day off to uh do a little bit of recording for you guys so yep these are all our hits right here out of this etb that was ripped that was left that the target stocking lady found and put it on the shelf just in time for me um this birthday pikachu's i'm gonna write my daughter's name on this right here i got three so far i need two more um for my kids um so yeah i got i'm gonna write one for each these cards i'm just you know i'm gonna put the name on it other than that these are your hits thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time